Genuine wood siding is a major investment and must be installed with great care. Failure to comply with Maybex installation and storage requirements, as well as with any applicable building codes, may affect the product's performance and void your Maybex warranty. This video covers the main sections in the Maybex EM Plus Siding Installation Guide. However, it is essential that you fully read the installation guide provided by Maybex. Maybeck EM Plus siding is quick and easy to install, thanks to the innovative tongue and groove system that firmly secures the siding at the top, bottom and ends of every board. And because joints can fall between furring strips without problem, there are virtually no more 45 degree cuts or touch-ups at the end of boards, saving you valuable time. What's more, the invisible fastening system virtually eliminates visible nails. With Maybeck EM Plus siding, installation is faster and easier than ever. You reduce waste and get a professional finish every time. The siding must be installed over a standard 16-inch on-center stud-built wall with OSB sheathing or plywood and an approved breather membrane. Finish preparing the wall by installing on the studs kiln-dried 1x3 minimum furring strips to ensure a proper fastening base. Consult the applicable building codes for your region. The siding must be installed over furring strips to ensure airflow, which will also allow for adequate moisture drainage and reduce the risk of premature aging. Install weather seal tape around windows, doors and all other openings to ensure a tight seal with the breather membrane. Install metal flashing above openings and in areas where moisture drainage is needed. To control humidity, ensure proper ventilation and minimize the siding's contact with vegetation. Ensure a minimum clearance of 8 inches from the ground. The siding should not come in direct contact with the ground. Use the metallic starter trim to ensure proper ventilation for the wall and to prevent rodent and certain insect infestations. This molding is designed only for installing siding horizontally on a wall with 1x3 furring strips at 16 inch intervals on center. It must be used around the entire building, including on inside and outside corners. If there is a horizontal furring strip, it must be removed, otherwise the wall will not be properly ventilated. Furring strips approximately 12 inches long will have to be added. Install the metallic starter trim directly on the furring strips. The bottom of the furring strips should reach to the bottom of the starter trim. The corner molding and the siding inserted in the starter trim should be at the same height. If you are not using the metallic starter trim, consult the Maybach EM Plus installation guide. For subsequent rows, fit the boards tightly into one another lengthwise, with a maximum variance of 1 16th between boards. The upper alignment of boards can also be adjusted up to a maximum of 1 16th, taking care not to leave any visible staples. If you have to adjust a board by more than 1 16th, nail the bottom of the board in place. To avoid damaging the tongues or grooves, use a block of siding 3 inches high and of a length equal to the visible portion. As a gauge guide, turn the block of siding by 90 degrees. The block should be equal to the visible surface. If there is a space, the boards need to be fitted more tightly. Verify course alignment with a level every third or fourth row and adjust the board as needed. A variance of 1 16th to 1 8th in height between boards is considered normal. With Maybach EM Plus siding, end joints do not need to be cut and joints can fall anywhere between two furring strips. If you have to cut a board at 90 degrees, 
you must apply touch-up stain to the cut end and fasten the board with two staples. If you have to make a joint cut, make 45 degree cuts at the ends of both boards to be butted, apply touch-up stain, and fasten the boards to the furring strip. Use Maybach recommended staples and nails only. Use of the Maybach EM Plus stapler guide is strongly recommended. Position the staple directly along the fastening line indicated on the board's profile. Installing the staple above this line may cause the tongue to crack. Installing the staple below the line will cause it to be visible on the wall. Always press the board firmly against the furring strip before fastening it in place. Ensure staples have a minimum penetration of one and a quarter inch in a solid substrate. Install two staples centered on each furring strip at a 20 degree angle, leaving a minimum three quarter inch space between them. The staple head must not sink into the wood but sit flush on its surface. If you must fasten a board anywhere other than along the fastening line, use a stained Maybach nail. Do not install staples less than 3 quarters of an inch from the ends of boards. Please pay particular attention to the following. Siding installed directly above or under a window or door cannot be fastened with a staple. It must be manually nailed in place with stained Maybach nails. There are several ways to finish the top of the wall. The typical way is to install a molding and then have the siding bud directly to it. A final course at least 4 inches wide is acceptable. To ensure airflow behind the siding, it is important to leave a half inch gap between the molding and the soffit. For other methods, see the installation guide. In all cases, be sure to nail the last course of siding in place. If you cut a board, you must apply touch-up stain on the bare wood before installing it. Touch-up stain is only meant to be used where needed. It must not under any circumstance be applied over non-damaged or factory coated material. Apply touch-up stain to all cut or plain surfaces and to all bare wood, even if it will not be visible once the siding is installed. To touch up natural tone siding, use the Maybach applicators. You will need two bottles to touch up natural tone siding. One bottle for the siding cuts and one bottle for the nail heads. Apply a sufficient amount of touch up stain to seal the bare wood entirely without overspilling onto the factory stained wood. If you are using a brush to apply the touch up stain, Use a polyester, nylon, or any synthetic brush with firm bristles approved for water-based coating. Dab lightly. Do not spill over or over brush. To make installing and fitting the pieces of siding together in a gable easier, cut the ends according to the angle of the gable. If you are using a corner molding, a 45 degree cut will make it easier to slide the piece into place without creating a large gap, thus reducing the size of the caulking line. To ensure optimal performance from your siding, be sure to carefully follow all instructions regarding areas prone to water accumulation. This includes respecting the recommended spacing around dormer roof joints, Installing flashing and using caulking on all horizontal surfaces. Touch-ups. Finishing at the top of walls. Allow a minimum clearance of one inch from adjacent horizontal structures. For example, decks, low walls, moldings. As with all exterior products, Siding can be prone to the accumulation of different organic or inorganic substances on its surface. This occurs naturally and is to be expected. It is therefore important to regularly check the appearance of your siding to ensure its longevity. For more details, consult the Maybach Siding Maintenance Guide on our website at maybach.com. For all other questions, please contact us at 1-800-363-1000.
1930.